Hi, it's Elaine from Penguin Place Crafts. So it's October 25th. I was starting to think I'm running out of ideas for Vlogtober, doing something every day. And you know how I said I'm trying to turn this mess into a mock setup for Saturday? Well, I thought I would take one of the bins. When I set up my table, I'm basically just scraping things into bins and I put one of these foldable bins into a smaller milk crate and then that milk crate goes inside a bigger milk crate so stuff will fit into the car. So I thought I'll just take one of these crates and go through the stuff and show you, um, share a pattern with you whenever possible let you know how much I'm selling this stuff for and maybe it'll give you some ideas and I'm going to try to decide whether it goes this week or whether it goes back into inventory for a while. So the first thing on the top of these of this particular tote are the trolls. Oops, I just dropped one. I have a standing troll and seated trolls. I think I have like five of them. They're not individually priced because I have a little sign that goes up that says trolls $10. I think they're going for Saturday because they have been getting a lot of attention at the shows. The next thing in the box is my big panda bear. I don't think he's going. He hasn't gotten all that much attention and this show coming up, um, I think there's more of a tendency to buy little stuff than big stuff. So I think he's gonna wait for the week after. This is an Amish puzzle animal, sea turtle, that I made years ago. It's from a book. Mm -hmm. Can't remember the exact name of it, but it's a book that's all Amagurumi puzzle animals. You make all these little pieces and sew them together, and then you have three sections that you put together to make the puzzle. Now, for the longest time, those three pieces were just sitting in a corner of the room because I couldn't remember how to put them together to make the puzzle. Couldn't figure it out, and I couldn't find the book to get the directions. So I finally found the book again, and I got him together. <sighs> Same as the panda. Um, I don't think big things are going to be a big seller at this week's show, so he will stay you would go back in inventory. I have a basket. I feel like Vanna. Oh no, this price is right when they the models will come out. This thing of hedgehogs for ten dollars. There's a cute little hedgehog pattern from Yarns and Nobles. And I like making those and they use up some of the velvety or fun fur or I think that was a <laughs> homespun so they're going hedgehogs hedgehogs are always popular this goes back there was a video this one was in a video this is my mishmash monster where I had a bunch of little parts from previous, I had these white horns. I had the one eye. This, I think, was supposed to be a beak for something else. This was, the green part was um, the body for a flip animal. And I just put them all together and made a monster. And I told you I was going to be giving you prices, and I haven't been doing that. This I have priced for $12. Monsters usually do get attention, and sometimes they go, so... He's going. Here's another monster, but it's a cute monster. 
this one was just free-handed. Yep, I like playing with my toys. Started the legs. Looks like I probably did like 6, 12, 18. Then went up about an inch on the legs. Joined them together with like three single, three chains between. Um, when I got up to here, I switched to another color yarn. And then back to the solid pink. And then I did pink and a variegated. Then back to the solid pink again. I did her little, I did little, like probably chain 12, slip stitch back a few, chain three, slip, slip stitch back, chain three, slip stitch back, and then slip stitch back along the chain to make the little hand and gave her dreads. So she is priced at $12. She's going. She's cute. I think she might sell. Okay, this guy had an entire video dedicated to him. I'll have to see if I can link it in the comments. He's another one that I just freehanded, made up the monsters I went along. I was trying to use up the yarn. This one, I'll have to link the um, link the pattern. There are eyes in there someplace. See, it does have eyes. This is the Worry Monster, and it was originally written with loop stitches. I don't do well with loop stitches. My loops come out. So I made the little round ball, and then I manually hooked yarn all over the place, and then separated all of those little bits of yarn, and then brushed out all of those little bits of yarn. I've I've made I think three of these and this is the only one left. The others have sold. I he doesn't have a price tag, does he? I think he's twelve dollars too, although for the time I spent brushing out all that yarn, it probably should be more than twelve. But it was a scrap yarn project, so I really can't justify a high price tag for him. Okay, I need another bin. Pumpkins are going. It's fall. <coughs> okay, next bin. Come on. Oops, I just knocked some just knock some safety eyes off the table for my Timu order. Calypso? He's got a bell now. He's going. As is his cousin, Raz. Oh, actually, if you want to hear the bell ringing, I should be going like this. And red. Highland cows? They get attention, they sell, they're going. Oh, there's another axolotl. Those will be going. But I need to get all of these guys that are the same size together for a picture to update the Etsy listing. So the rest of this bin is axolotls. This, this one is just a little bit bigger, so he's a higher price. And then I have the bulky ones. This, those are 10. This guy was 12. The big ones are 15. And the long skinny ones are 15. So I have a whole bin of axolotls here. And they're going. Because axolotls are hot. Just ask my friend Joanna. She did a craft show on Saturday. And someone asked her, she sells earrings. Someone asked her if she had axolotl earrings. So she has ordered some charms to make axolotl earrings. <coughs> and for Joanna, happy two months to Christmas. Okay, I need another box. 
Sorry, X Lottles. Brontosaurus. YouTube video tutorial. Zach from Zach. Exclamation point. I think there's two exclamation points. He's going because dinosaurs are very popular. Mercury. Yeah, Mercury's going because it's a Mercury. It's it's cute and it'll get it's been getting attention at previous shows. I had four of these at the last show and I sold two of them. So they're going and I need to remake the ones that sold. My Donatello, the dinosaur with the dress up shells. He was getting a lot of tension on Saturday, but he didn't sell. So I think he's going too. Oops, wrong bed. Mini Octos, $4. Actually, these, these, I call these my micro Octos because it is, you know, a small pattern that works up in like 15, 20 minutes. They're going because that's a, um, that people are always going through that one. Like, oh, look at this, look at this. Okay, another monster, cute little blonde monster. Sort of like the last one. Um, started with the legs. Did a little chain between the two. And then after I did a little bit on the body, I started decreasing just to the sides. This one I actually crocheted arms for her rather than doing little stick arms. And gave her some cute little curls. Betcha she's 12. Oh, she's only 10. Oh. I was gonna say I bet she she's 12 just like the others. Here's Lady Liberty. I'll have to look up the pattern for this one. Um, it was a free pattern online. I don't know. I think she's gonna stay home this time. She just hasn't gotten all that much attention. Oh, that's another micro octo. Okay. I do need to make another little turtle. These are my fancy turtles. I have a sunflower and a watermelon. I had a football where the edge of the football was Bill's colors, the blue and red, and that sold. So I should remake the Bill's one and take those. Turtles really seem to be doing well. These guys this is a hug bot. This is my own pattern. Usually I tie them onto the big white stand. The hug bot and hug monster and a long armed sloth. They all just tie onto there. It doesn't take up any more extra room and they get some attention. Maybe they'll sell. Okay. Okay. I think this guy's gonna stay home. Usually he goes in with the monsters. This is a slug that I made up years ago. I mean, it's so old, it has an address label on the bottom for the price tag. I think he's staying home. Okay, I went through like three bins, did some sorting. So I did make some progress. So now I have to get some more things emptied out so I can actually put these things on the table and see how much more I have room for. But first, I have to go get dinner in the oven. Tonight is baked chicken, mashed potatoes, and squash. Chicken and squash need to be in the oven for quite a while. So I'm gonna go get those in and sit in my chair and work on a mini dino. The mini dinosaur pattern is live on my blog now. Hooray for accomplishments. Bye-bye.